call anything. Anything that you remember about a letter, letter writing, um, don't be afraid to sh uh, share it in the chat. Okay, waiting for it to have what reading. All right, the parts of a letter, a letter has five parts. Okay, good. I can't even see on my phone. What is going on? Anyone else? Um, types of letters. Okay. Okay. Very good. Now, so far, I'm, I'm pleased with what I'm saying. Okay. Now, does anybody know the significance of a letter? What's 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 what what is significant about a letter? Because the truth is, when's the last time you had to write a letter that you didn't have to, you know, if it wasn't for school or something like that? Okay, well, we said never. <laughs> Aliyah says it's a form of conversation. Uh, yeah. Okay. Anyone else? All right, Tyronique says I only wrote letters to school. Guess what? Uh, I, I hear you. Okay, and Chante says it's a form of communication. Yes. Okay, you all are correct. All right. Um, letters are a form of communication but they are more i mean letters have gradually become outdated in the sense that in normal communication people use other ways to reach out to one another how do they how do we do that now oh very good um Shania, i like that it, letters allow us to communicate with people formally or informally i love it that's very good Okay, I see call and text. Shante says, um, thank you, letter, apology. You know, the old people use, jeez, I mean, you may be calling us old. We're all hurtful, man, that's ageism. Okay? <laughs> all right, so call and text, come on, guys, that's it. Only two people can answer how we, how we communicate uh, casually or day to day. Call and text, email. What else? I mean, come on. I mean, look, look at look. What are we using right now to communicate for this class? Mm -hmm. Be possible. Uh, so Leah says FaceTime. Face to face. Definitely no face to face. Mm -mm. <laughs> That's not happening right now. Okay. Um. Yeah. All right, teams. So people, you people have been uh, using um steadily over Zoom. Thank you have been using um, more uh, sophisticated technological means of communication. Right when I was a kid growing up, email was like, ooh, wow, like that's a big thing, right? And then it became, it went from email to being able to like send uh, Facebook messages and send WhatsApp messages and, and you know, Skype call and, and you know, FaceTime, and, or, mm -hmm. but guess what? Letters still have their place in the world, mm -hmm. okay? Letters still have their place in the world. And just because you may not have written a letter in a long time, but just because you have only written a letter for school, that doesn't mean that that's the only time in your life you will have to write a letter. I can almost guarantee you at some point in your life you will have to write a letter, whether, it's a, if you, whether you're complaining to, to the government, all right? Um, because, um, and, and uh, you hear a lot of times people are encouraged to write a complaint, not just come down to an office and make noise. And sometimes you are able to like explain yourself more clearly in a letter and anyway, mm -hmm. but you need to know how to write. Letter, okay. Because you may even have to write a letter to, to request something. 
All right, you never know. Okay, and even if you t even if you type it up in, in an email and you email it, that's still you know putting a letter together. Mm -hmm. Okay, like Mrs. Toot and Mrs. Dennis can tell you, we get letters all the time. Right, we get yeah. letters from the ministry. We get letters from other other government entities, and but most of the letters we get are of a particular type. Yeah. Okay, so good job, guys. All right, letter writing. So you guys did a lot of the work. All right, because I knew you knew. I knew you knew. All right, I knew you knew that I knew you knew. Okay. <laughs> All right, so let's keep going. All right, here are our objectives, okay? Let's see if we can achieve these today. Um, objective one, we'll be able to define the terms informal and formal letter, okay? Objective two, discuss the format of the formal and informal letter, okay? It's pretty simple, right? Any, any, anyone lost yet or are we good? Everyone, everyone good? Everyone following with our uh, objectives here? Pretty straightforward, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, three. All right, differentiate between the informal and the formal letter. Okay, so we're going to define the terms, but I think you guys kind of, some of you did that already. We're going to discuss the format. Now, that is where we may spend a lot of time today, right? and um, differentiate between the formal and informal letter, which is related to two, okay? All right, so let's keep going. Now, guys, just as a reminder, you know Mrs. Toot is here, all right? She's, 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 she's in the pocket, all right? She's our, she's our clutch shooter, right? <laughs> she's the resident um, letter <laughs> expert, so if I fall down in any area, she, I know she'll be here to like correct me, yeah. or she'll be a sense of walking, <laughs> hey, Hold up, slow you roll. Yeah, don't worry That's about that. That's not right. Got okay? You. So we got professionals in here, guys. I don't want you to think we're amateurs in here. We're not amateurs. Okay? All right, so what is a letter? A letter is a written message from one individual to another. Okay? We kind of, some of you touched that on, on that already, so that was great. Okay? Now, historically speaking, and um, I love when Mrs. Toot and Mrs. Dennis were, um, did this last week, and they, they both were talking about how on the island, um, you know, sending letters was like a big thing because a lot of people didn't have phones, right? Mm -hmm. And if you wanted, you wanted to contact your relatives, like you would have to, you know, more often than not, you would have to write to them. And the the mailboat, right, Mrs. Stu? Yes. Would have to. Okay. Would have to. You know, you can, I mean, you know, Mrs. Yeah, Stu. Yeah, take. Go ahead, weeks, Mrs. I mean, days, probably weeks up, um, up to time wow. to send those letters so you can imagine if you had something important that you really right. had to get out there and you know the message takes days to reach uh the recipient you know so can you imagine that right because imagine imagine them saying uh imagine your mom you're, you're, you're studying in the in Nassau back in the day and you, you know your parents were on a phone call and they send a you know oh you know you have your little kitten home fluffy right so mommy writes you a letter to say that, hey, Fluffy isn't doing so well. But guess what? By the time you get the letter about Fluffy, Fluffy's already dead. You can't even jump on to them. Oh, let me jump on the um, Boeingy. Let me jump on the plane so mm -hmm. I can see Fluffy <laughs> one, one last time. All right? Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> yeah, it's unfortunate. Okay? So, yeah, um, letters were the primary means of communication. And they, like Mrs. Toot said, they took long it took a yes. long time now yes. luckily letters it's it's you know letters because of cars and and because of the automobiles planes and mm -hmm. and boats mm -hmm. faster planes faster boats let us get around more quickly mm -hmm. but um yeah but and usually if someone wrote you a letter it was usually something very important or yes. they hadn't heard from you a, a while yeah or something like that and it's still an important form of communication even today. You still have people in 2020 that have pen pals that that use the ma mailing systems around the world. Yes, right? that's true. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's pretty interesting. Okay. 
All right, so informal letter. All right, all right. So guys, let's let's talk about the informal letter. All right. Um, what is another term for the informal letter? Okay, right. So Alicia says the friendly letter. Very good. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. Uh, anyone else? Friendly, friendly. Mm -hmm. Alicia and Stephen. Very good. Um, Stephen, is it? Do you, do you pronounce it Stephen or Stefan? Because I, I, I don't know. Okay, so an informal letter may be written, written, sorry, to a friend, your buddy, your pal, your amigo. Okay. So a Shante gave. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Uh, Shante gave several examples: the thank you letter, the apology letter. Mm. <laughs> so with the yeah. old people use. Yeah, yes, I saw that. Yes, okay, Shante, very yes. good, Shante. That's right. Okay, so an informal letter may be written to a friend, a family member, uh, or an acquaintance. Because not every see see when I was younger, you I used to call all kinds of people my friends. But as you get older, you realize you have yeah, an acquaintance. <laughs> an acquaintance, right? Yes. I they are my I have they are, I have I have a best friend. I have my good friends. Yes. I have, I have, uh, the friend, uh, acquaintances. Friends, uh, <laughs> then you have the acquaintances, and then you have people. You just have people that you, oh, was, was, you know, people you just bop, you nod your head at. Right? Yes. Okay. So, or an acquaintance. It is also known as a friendly letter. So, good job. Okay. No social distancing in that picture. All right. <laughs> How many parts does a friendly letter have? Okay. Oh no, no. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think guys. They saw that one. <laughs> pretend like you didn't see that, yeah. Okay, you didn't see that, guys. You didn't see that. Yes. Um, yes. Um, yeah, so yes, it is, Pernisha, it is five, Angel. It is five. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, but make me feel. Make me feel good. Tell me you didn't see that, please. Yeah. <laughs> please tell me you didn't see the. You didn't see the slide. You didn't see it on the slide, right? Yeah, I think that. Oh, Angel said she didn't oh, see. Yay! It. Okay. All right. Okay. Awesome. Oh, that's good. Okay. But yes, you are. You guys are correct, guys. We want some more participation because this is old news. <laughs> Everybody should know this. Thank you. Thank you, Alicia. You've made my afternoon. <laughs> All right. Uh. Yeah. Okay. It's all good. It's all good. All right, so let's keep going. Um, parts of the friendly letter. Can anyone name the parts of the friendly letter? I didn't slip up this time. Mm -mm. I didn't slip up this time. You caught, you caught me slipping once. Okay, so what? So help me out here. Let's go. Okay. Let's go, guys. Come on, come on. Okay, so Angel says right. the body. The body. That's okay. Pernisha Greeting. says. Greeting, salutation, body and closing. Um, Alicia says heading, the signature, and the body. I think we got almost all the parts right there. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think I think if you you combine um, Pranisha and Alicia, yeah. I think that's those are the five parts right there, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, good stuff, guys. Good stuff, ladies. Thank you. All right, so yes, those are all right. The uh, five parts of the letter right there. Okay. Um, so I hope I want we want more participation grade 12. You know, you can, we know you can do it. Mm -hmm. All right. We know you can do it. Okay. So here we go. One, the heading. Okay. Now, um, in the heading, that's where the uh, writer's address and uh, date goes. Can someone give an example of what I mean by the writer's address? What does that mean? What what is the writer's address? How would you how would you write that out? Uh, uh okay. <clears throat> yeah, that's I want an example though. Okay. Yeah. Their guess, information. Uh, you mean like their Facebook name or what type what kind okay. of information? All right. Al Aliyah says PO box N123. Okay. All right. What uh, what comes after the PO box? 
Okay. Um, An angel, yes, where they live. But where does the where they live come? Oh. What? Pernicious. Okay, Pernicia, I think we're having a little, mix, you're mixed up just a slightly. Just a little. You're referring bit. to a different type of letter that we'll get to. Yeah, it's a little, I get it. It's a little, it's been a while. It's been so long since, you know, they've looked at it because, you know, they're, you know, they've been on to, moved on to big and better things, mm -hmm. I guess, as well. All right. Oh, check the chat, guys. Aaliyah has it. I don't know, Mrs. Stu, what do you think about that? Okay, Aaliyah, I, mm, we have one or two little errors right there, but you are very close. Check your P.O. box and your date. Very close. Let's see if anybody um, can identify the error there. Although she is very close, I would say about 98% correct. 98. Yes. 98. But Aaliyah, you should be proud, man. There's That's... two small little uh, errors I see. OK. So the head honcho has told you that you are like 98% there. Anyone want to see if they can, if they can uh, help Aaliyah get to, those, to that 2% or if they could, uh, you know, get to 100 on their own using Aaliyah as a, as a, as a stepping stone? The, ah, okay, Ashanti just corrected her P.O. box. Mm. Very good. So the only thing you missed out there was the dot after O. And yes, as small as that as it may seem, you will get points taken off if that uh, period there isn't is missing. Yeah, and there's another something? thing. Yep. <laughs> and then you have the date. Um. So in the date. The TH, the RD, the ND, we want to we wanna eliminate all of that, okay? So you, you don't need to put uh, any type of abbreviation, no TH, no RD, no ND. So just take off that TH um, on 9, okay? Or you can okay. write it like that, yes, November 9th, comma, 2020. Or you can write 9 November 2020, no uh, punctuation. All right. Look at Trevor's, um, Mrs. Two. Look at Trevor's. Okay, Trevor. Okay. That, that's yes, yeah, that's also accepted. Yeah, now, just remember the space um, when you're writing it. I don't know if it's just because you're typing, but you know when you're writing it out and uh, you need that space between box yeah. and and the numbers, the series of yes. numbers or letters that come after the bio box. But for the most part, it looks it looks yes. it looks all right. It's correct. Very good. All right. Okay, so guys, another part is the salutation. We've established what the heading is. The salutation. What is the what what do we do in also known as the greeting? Okay, because um the way it was taught was the you know the we'd call it the greeting in the friendly letter. Okay. Um okay, Aaliyah says dear Mary, comma. Mm -hmm. All right. Anyone okay. else? Does anyone want to confirm? Uh, anyone believe that Mary is correct? Anyone want to add their salutation? What they think the salutation should look like? Is Mary correct? I mean, Mrs. Stute said very good, but <laughs> neither of us have come out and, and Mrs. Dennis didn't come out and say, well, oh, that's, that's correct. So, mm -hmm. okay. Oh, okay. Elijah says, dear sir, madam. Now, oh. uh, Elijah, you would have to put like a or or a slash because there are some madam sounds like that's someone's name. Yes, but even in the friendly letter, Elijah, remember that um, because you're writing it to a friend, more than likely you know the name of the friend. So we yes. don't use dear sir or madam in the friendly letter, okay? So yeah, write the name of the person, their first name. Yeah. Okay, so anyone else other than Aaliyah and Elijah? Dear Hitana. Sorry, Dear Hinata. This is that from Naruto or something? <laughs> uh, hello, May. Oh. Um, Do we so take Shania? hello? No. Shania, 
Shania, we do not accept hello, okay? So you just want to stick with that word, dare. Okay, dare Pauline. All right. Good. All right. So, okay, guys, where to go? Okay, all right. Okay, so we have the body, five paragraphs. Now, uh, I think we were talking about the fact, right, Mrs. Student, Mrs. Dennis, mm -hmm. that three to five is okay. Yes, three to okay. five. All right, so three to five. I mean, you is... know, it's a, it's a letter, so you don't want to write uh, uh, an essay, okay? It's just a letter, and you know, in these letters, you just want to be direct, straight to the point, you know? Mm -hmm. So five paragraphs isn't really, it depends on the content and what um, the question is asking, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, absolutely. Okay, so... I'd say three, three to five paragraphs max. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And then the the closing. How do we usually close out a uh, a friendly letter or an or an informal letter? How do we close it out? Do we just say peace or <laughs> later? What do we say? <laughs> All right. Yours truly. Very good. Kind regards. What you all fancy? Yeah, fancy. <laughs> all right. But so I mean, we... kind regards is it's a bit formal though. So. Yeah, that is kind of formal. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, but I like it though. Mm -hmm. Okay, sincerely, your friend, your mm -hmm. friend, sincerely. Okay, guys. Yeah, that's you guys aren't doing too badly at all. The, Looks like we opened the floodgates and now everything's coming back to you guys, right? Mm -hmm. Like Celine Dion. Okay. <laughs> All right. So five. This the 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 signature. Okay. How do you sign a form an informal letter, a friendly letter? What do you what do you put at the end? Yes, your name, but the sender's name. Okay. Yes, but oh, okay. Do we have a winner? Yeah, I think Ashley has it. Okay. Yes, you put your first name, just your first name. You know, like how you have Beyonce and Rihanna and Madonna, mm -hmm. right? It's just, just and Nikki, right? You know, you just, just the first name. Okay. Um, someone is is in the other in the other meeting. Okay. All right. Um. Yeah, just your first name, guys, for the uh friendly letter. Okay. So we have the format here, and remember, guys, this is being recorded, so you can always um when I'm when we're done here, I'm gonna upload this to the YouTube channel, and you will have this to look at. All right, for both um friendly and um sorry the informal informal letter okay so formal the formal letter friendly letter sorry the writer's address address and the date all right and we have the uh heading that's what we call that information there you know your p.o box and dash whatever whatever you know nassau comma bahamas uh 9 november 2020 all right and then you have your salutation. And notice that um, the heading, all right, is, would be on the right-hand side of the page. All right, it'd be closer to the right uh, margin, okay? And the salutation is opposite that, all right, on the left-hand side. And notice also that you should skip a line after the heading, all right? and on the left hand side you start your um salutation okay so you begin writing on the left on the right hand side of the page you come all the way over to the left side you skip a line and then you write your salutation there lisa there whomever and notice that you begin your letter under the person's name never begin a letter under dare because there should be some form of indentation there should be, because you know paragraphs are supposed to be indented. Okay? 
So start, don't start under there. Start under the person's name. Okay? Um, Cato Teams is a man-made thing. That's all I can say. All right? But yes, okay, and notice there's the body. All right? And at the bottom, I don't see it there, but at the bottom, I, I, it's going to come up, I'm assuming. Okay, and at the bottom there, you see your closing and uh, signature. All right, your signature would go under your friend and the comma. And notice that the F and friend is a lowercase f. Okay, so no capital Y, lowercase O U R, and then capital F for friend. It's just your capital Y and your lowercase f and friend. If you go into your friend route, your friend. Uh, Cato, your friend, um, Kendisha, your friend, uh, Leslie, your friend, Ashley, your friend, Eli Elijah. All right. No fear to get called out before you write your name. Okay. Just your first name. All right. All right. And this is um, a pretty good, ex a pretty good example, additional example uh, of the parts. Okay. Of a friendly letter and a more in, in, in a more um accurate depiction okay you have the heading over here like i said right hand side right upper side of the of the page all right you skip a line after um the 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 address in the heading and then you put you write the date then you skip on over move on over to the left hand side you skip another line all right, that's where you begin, dear Lisa. You begin under Lisa, all right? And your body, your introduction is meant to connect with the reader and state the purpose. Hey, hey, Hi, Jason. Hey. Oh, sorry. Hey. Um, did you, um, I'm not sure because I stepped away from the computer. I had a call. Did you explain to them um, that it doesn't have to be the NASA comma n dot p dot comma oh right because, i yes yeah i didn't because i didn't my mention students that. i taught them how i taught them p.o box and then the p.o box mm -hmm. number and then i taught them nassau comma bahamas yes and then skip a line and then date but right students, you can also um this is another way that you can actually have your heading the reason why i taught you the simple I mean, the other way, which is much simpler, is because, like I said, it's very much simple. And with this particular way of um, writing the heading, like Ms. Toot says, if you forget a punctuation mark, it can hinder your grade or it can cause you to lose points. Okay. Sorry, Mr. Joaquin. I just had to say that I wasn't sure. Yeah, no problem. Yes, Ms. what Mrs. Dennis said is absolutely true, and it's much easier to remember Nassau, comma, Bahamas, and Nassau, comma, NP, right? The Bahamas, okay? So, yes, you're absolutely right, and that's why that's what, that's what why I'm glad um, Mrs. Dennis and Mrs. Tuda are here, all right? Okay, so you, in your introduction, this is where you connect with the reader and state the purpose, and now remember the friendly letter is, is geared more toward, towards family, friends, acquaintances, people you know. All right, so you'll be like, uh, you know, dear Jason, how are you? It's been such a long time since we've spoken. I hope that you are well. I hope that you're, you know, taking all the safety precautions needed. I hope you're sanitizing and wearing your mask, right? I'm writing this letter because I want to inform you that I am getting married, right? Or something like that, whatever, you, whatever it is, okay? But, you know, you say, you know, I want to inform you that um, I just ordered the PlayStation 5. Now, why you would be writing to someone about ordering the PlayStation 5, I don't know. But, you know, <laughs> there you state, um, you connect with the reader, you state why you're writing to them, because obviously there has to be a reason you're writing to them. Okay? Body, which should consist of three well-developed paragraphs, including details about the purpose of the letter. So if the purpose, the purpose of the letter could be for you to tell them about the fact that you have a new home, you finally purchased your own home, you purchased a new car, 
listen, man, I can't wait for you to come to town so you could ride around in my in my in my uh, BMW and my uh, Mercedes. All right, in my in my in my uh, Nissan March, right? So, okay, so yeah, all right. You you based on what you're writing about, you know, obviously the the body of your letter would cover that in detail. Would would explain and go into further detail about um, the purpose, and then in conclusion, you reconnect with the receiver. So just where you started, almost you you try and wrap it up like you know, Jason. Um, once again, I hope you're being safe. I hope you're having a good time, even though we're kind of restricted. I can't remember. I said I, I expect to see you come to town, even if I have to buy the ticket myself. Uh, so please respond as quickly as you can, and I can't wait for us to reconnect. Your friend whatever okay so you know it's just a it's just a very nice way and see if someone writes you a letter that's like man this person really must be they they must be thinking about me they care yeah. about me enough to write a letter versus well you come to town but they send you a text they or something took, or, they or took time mm -hmm. they took time to write and think out think clearly you know and maybe if some of us took more time to think more clearly we'd, we'd be in less uh trouble yeah, okay true. all right so yes okay and note the format there note that the sorry let me go back to that for a second note that um the closing signature sh should line up with the heading at the bottom um uh, mrs uh mrs two do you skip a line after the end of the uh conclusion and then your closing signature should there be a line skip yeah. Yeah, so um, once you write your last Five. word, function, this you want to skip a Finally, I got a level. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, that's, I'm here, my, that's my son. <laughs> okay, so once you write the last word of your conclusion, you want to skip a line and go to the right-hand corner of your page. You want, it to, you want your closing and your signature to line up with your heading. Okay. Thank you so much, Mrs. Stu. Welcome. All right. Um, okay, now we're on to the formal letter. All right? The formal letter is also known as the business letter. All right? Now, this is the type of letter you may have more experience with during your lifetime. Okay? That's right. Um, it is different from the friendly or informal letter. Now, guys, in your words, in your view, why is it different? Or how is it different, the formal letter? Let us know in the chat. All right, Chloe, you have your hand. Okay. Anyone? Because it's about business. Need a little more than that. Okay, Aaliyah says you're basically communicating with a stranger or someone you are not close with. Yes. Right now, let me let me ask you guys a question. Um if if some if there's someone who if you were let's let's say you're working at a place, right? And you know, you have friends who are your colleagues, your co-workers, and you say, Hey bro, what's going on? Or hey girl, what you saying? Are you going to speak to the, the the owner of the company that you don't work you don't work shoulder to shoulder with the owner of the company or the business? Are you going to be like, hey, bro, what's going on, big bro? Or use the boss say, yeah, man. Well, you know, he's the boss too. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, no. Why aren't you going to do that? <gasps> he will fire you because that is not your friend. That's right. All right, so okay, okay, they are in a higher position than you, definitely. So, and my thing is, you also I, not only are they in a higher position, which by default means that you should respect the position, That's but right. you don't, you also don't know them that well because you don't right. work with them on a personal level. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, and like Lauren says, yes, it's not professional. So a business letter, it will sound much more professional or should sound much more professional than a, than a, than a, than a friendly letter. Because with a friendly letter, there's fam familiarity, mm -hmm. all right? With a with an inform with a formal letter or business letter, there is there is little to no familiarity. Definitely no slang, no jokes. All right, you are approaching this person as as polite and respectfully as you as you can, and when you write, okay. All right, so it is different. So while the friendly letter is someone, someone sum up the tone for me of a friendly letter. Sum up the tone. Give me one word that could sum up the tone of a friendly letter. One adjective versus the 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 business or formal letter. Anyone? No, just I just want an adjective that would sum up the tone of an informal letter or friendly letter versus a formal or business letter. Okay, a business letter is a letter from one company to another or between such organizations and their customers, clients, or other external parties. Okay, good. All right, so Angel says mature, but I, what I was asking about the friendly letter, though, what kind of tone would the friendly letter have? Be, have? Because that's, I, that's something I neglected to ask you guys a little earlier. Because, yes, the... Definitely the business letter has a more mature tone tone. Okay, but I need a tone for the friendly letter. And don't just say friendly, please, because that's not telling me anything that I don't already know. Come, let's go, grade 12. What's going on? They have the three o'clock itch, I guess. They, they, uh -huh. they just, they're just <laughs> itching to get out and that's making it hard for them to focus. It's only they're trying to get that. That big F on a, a participation a day. Mm. Well, oh, okay. I got an answer for a question I didn't even ask yet, but it's up <laughs> on the it's up on the thing though. All right, Panisha, but duly noted, duly noted. I see your answer there. Okay, <laughs> guys, what's going on? Why is everybody so afraid? Did I, did we all forget how to use Google today? What's going on? I like. I mean, there's something they should know. This is still review. Yeah, exactly. It is something that they should. That you you hungry? Should. You should be eating, and I mean, you should eat before what? you even. What? Start Someone said they're thing. hungry. I swear they are. <laughs> that is not professional at all. <laughs> that is very unbecoming of a of a of a CC sweeting cobra. Okay, yes, someone's uh, familiar, yes. pleasant, joyful. Mm hmm. Oh my yeah. goodness, what's happening? Sorry, but I was trying to get something to come back up. Go ahead, sorry. Um, vibrant. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the time, Joshua. I can't see it on my um, screen at all. On my phone. Oh, yes, because we need them to fill out that form, but okay. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, so good job, guys. It's more pleasant. More friendly. Okay, so last question before we move on. This question here, how many parts of a, does a business letter have? All right, we'll have to finish this off. Um, kind of finish this off uh, quickly tomorrow. All right, Laquan says six. DeAndre says six. Sixteen. Sixteen, Morano. What's what's happening? 
No, that must be a typo. Probably a typo. <laughs> he meant to. He meant to type one sex as in you know, like it has only. I can't even. Sorry. Mm. <laughs> All right. Um, you guys better come with some pep in your step tomorrow with participation. Mm. Okay. All right, sex, sex. Yeah, man, I don't know what happened to you guys today, boy. But oof. Yeah, y'all fall off. Pat participation was, 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 dis was dismal today, man. I don't know. Must be the weather. Eh? I don't know. Okay, so yes. Okay, guys, the letter has, the letter has six, six parts. Man, it's a Monday. You should be refreshed. My point, exactly. You, you, you didn't have to get up early in the morning and go catch the bus. You, you, you <laughs> Okay, uh, now for us, it was working out all weekend. Mm -hmm. We could be tired. All right. So yeah, six parts. Okay, guys. So we will um, stop here, and then we'll um, briefly, I guess, with I don't know how I'm gonna break it up tomorrow, but yeah, we'll stop here now. Um, Mrs. Who's gonna send the attendance link? So we're gonna send the link. We need you guys to click on the link, fill out the information, and then you can leave the and class. Then okay. Um, Mrs. Dennis, uh, mm -hmm. we're, so we're just, um, e so we're going to email the attendance list to Miss, Miss, Miss Roll, just so, or um, she wants some yeah. money day, right? I think at the end of the week, yeah. Yeah. Well, she put on no, she says every day. Uh, every day. Every day? Yeah. She said every day. She yeah. wants it every day. <laughs> okay. So students, please fill out the form. Once you're done with the form, I mean, once you fill it out and you completed it, then you can leave, okay? So I'm going to put it in the chat. Do 